Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to draw a histogram in SPSS and how to use the histogram to explore and visually inspect your data and to determine whether it is normally distributed or not. Here I have a data um, uh, a data here on the left hand um, side as we can see three different scores and I want to look at the distribution of the data on, on those scores before I proceed and do any statistical analysis it is essential and crucial to look at the data and determine whether it is normally distributed or not because the distribution is critical to this uh, for pre and, and, and critical and prerequisite for whichever test you want to go so if it is normally distributed then you go for parametric test if it is not the non parametric in this uh, uh, video i will show you four different way how to plot your histogram the first one is if you click on the graph graphs here and they click on legacy dialog and scroll down up to this icon where it says histogram hit the button for histogram I will reset this and then here another uh, window appears and it says and the left hand are score one two and three and then uh, it's give you the variable so I'm going to move the variable number uh, score number one to the variable here and there is here a small box it says display normal care if you click tick on this and then hot hit the button for OK SPSS will generate a histogram and as you can see here the data are normally distributed however histogram can show you here there is a value for a data uh, that is extremely high this data here uh, this score this this value here is called an outlier because it is really an extreme value from the rest of the um, scores so that's one of the benefit of using histogram in SPSS and before you uh, look at before you do a nice statistical analysis to look at the data and sort out these issues. So it's here from the graph even we can see that there is a 10 there is a, a value of 10 for this uh, um, so the, the, for this uh, participant and if we go here and we can see it's at number 691 the value is 10. Now another way to do another way to draw a graph is to go through chart builder. If you click on chart builder you will get another window. Just click on OK and then here it will you will it will show you a different option. Click on gallery and go scroll down to histogram, click on the histogram and bring that histogram here. So we're going to check the distribution uh, through histogram for score number one. And if we move the score number one to here and uh, SPSS will make a histogram graph and just we leave the rest as it is. And then we hit the click button. OK. And again, it shows you here the histogram. Again, this histogram, this histogram have frequency. Uh, distribution but without curve and to insert a curve we double click on the graph and then go to elements and then click on show distribution curve and it will show you now that um, so it will insert a, a, a normal curve on the histogram so this is the second way of showing you how to do a histogram then there are another ways also another way a third way if we go to analyze and then click on descriptive statistics and click on frequency and then another window will come up and uh, we need to look at all these three groups together we click on the score one move score one here and then two and three scores to here and if we if we click on statistics I think we probably will leave it as it is because we are interested more in charts 
in chart here there is an icon for histogram click on it and then click on also tick on show normal curve on the histogram on the format we leave it the same and the style will keep it the same and then we hit the okay, okay button and if we scroll down of course the spaces will calculate give you a descriptive tables and then at the bottom it will generate a histogram for each score score number one score number two score number three again as we can see here that in score number one you have an outlier and uh, data are normally distribution except for the outlier in score number two the data are not normally distributed and we call it skewed here as you can see the curve the data cluster to the left and also for score score three the same a, a fourth way of doing a histogram is through descriptive and then we go through click on explore we could transfer scores all the three scores into the dependent variable okay and then if we click on statistics we keep descriptive we'll get some descriptive plots it's very crucial here to untick this thing. We are not really interested in stem and live at this stage. We click on histogram and click on continue. In options, we will uh, keep the same, this um, when the same, click on continue and then click on okay. Again, um, SPSS will generate a uh, ta descriptive table and show you a histogram for score one and then histogram for score two and a histogram for score three and again as i showed you if you want to um, um, insert a histogram you just click on the graph and then click on the element and then insert the graph so this way now i showed you four i have show, shown you four different way of how to do uh, his to draw histogram in SPSS and to look at your data, scrutinize your data, screen your data to see if there is any abnormal uh, values in it or if the data are distributed or not distributed as it is the first step in uh, toward doing a statistical analysis.